Hi, welcome to video 5C, uh, week 5, lesson number 3, where we're going to very quickly talk about inverse, trig, and some conjugate information. So, uh, finding this expression, so uh, first, of course, we solve the inside, and so the inverse tan of 6.7 would be equivalent to some angle value. Great, let's just call that angle 1. Well, if I solve tan of angle, oops, that's an angle, Angle one, that's going to be equal to side one. Well, guess what? We already know side one. So guess what the answer is here? Tan, arc, tan, they're going to cancel each other out. Sine, arc, sine, cosine, arc, cosine, blah, 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 blah. They cancel each other out. Tan and arc, sine, however, will not. So my answer here is just 6.7. Slow by easy. But let's look at the one that's not so easy. So like I said, tan and arc, sine are not going to cancel each other out because they have to be the same trigonometric function. So what do I do? I deal with the inside first. But all I know about this is that the inverse sine of three-fifths is equal to some angle. Okay, well great. If I plug it into a calculator, I find the angle. So I could plug with the calculator tan of the angle, and I could get my answer. Great! Boom. Go do that for my calculator kids. My kids who want to try this without the calculator, the next thing I would do is I would graph, or sorry, draw that triangle. So because I know sine, if I draw some right triangle with this is uh, theta, this is my opposite, my adjacent, and my hypotenuse. I don't know what uh, letter I was trying to draw. And so that becomes Sokotoa 3 over uh, 5 right here. So 3 over 5, we solve for 4. And now we can set up our Toa, our tangent of that angle, would be um, 3 over 4. And so there's my answer. Whether you plug it into a calculator or you go ahead and solve it without that calculator, great job. And that's all I got for you guys. Ta-da!